If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating, their fresh ingredients that go into making every dish, whether it's pizza or that just right entree. Tuscany Square Restaurant, they're here to serve you. Call 724-654-3065. Holy snowman, it's the Turf Bar, home of great sandwiches, appetizers, tacos, you name it, they have it at the Turf Bar. It's just the right food you'll enjoy. Those special drinks, they're there too. And get that nice cold beverage, relax, enjoy the Turf Bar. If you ain't there, you should be. Trusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Okay, folks, here we are, and we're getting ready for the race. I, I get cross country, and I guess it's a meet, as they would say, with Newcastle, the Red Hurricane warming up, and you'll see uh, Central Valley walking into the picture and uh, there goes coach Shaftick and also am I gonna is this gonna be uh, playable tonight on there <laughs> and also Central Valley so you've got Central Valley Blackhawk and Newcastle and uh, as I squint and uh, take a look I can to myself and the we're in the center of the the course the it'll start out to my left and go straight down then as I was told they'll go into the woods and they'll come out at the other end it comes come up past us this way and back down into the woods through and back around I, I got our vantage point in the middle of the course so that you could take a look at what's going on. I didn't know whether to bring the sunglasses today or the umbrella. Lawrence County 45 weather said rain. Just a few minutes ago, I went and got the umbrella. And now the sun is beaming on me like you can't believe. There go the guys from Blackhawk coming up past us. And the race should be beginning shortly. Uh, as um, everybody getting in their position. This is NCTV 45's first cross country race. And I don't think anybody else has done one live. So, um, you know, I, I wish I could read as you, your uh, 
text as you're putting them up. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, but with the sun in the eyes, it's a little bit tough. Um, but keep them coming. I'll definitely be reading later. I see a lot of thumbs up. Now, uh, we're going to switch the camera around. And uh, Coach Shaftick is on his way down. We're live, Coach Shaftick. What time? Well, we should be getting started here in, um, you know, maybe three or four minutes. Uh, the race will be going. We're running the boys and girls together today in the varsity. We left the GJ, junior high at home because of the weather. We didn't know what it was going to do. So um, you'll be seeing them starting here in about three or four minutes. Okay, and then they're going to come up past us? They'll come up past you. They'll head around that fence. You'll see them come around the perimeter of the field for the first 800. They're going to go into the woods, and they'll come back through here a number of times. If you stand pat where you're at, you'll see them quite often right okay, here. Okay, hey. And the finish is right over here along the line. You probably want to get a good spot down on the other side of the finish so you can watch them coming in. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you Good coming. luck. Thank you. Now, um, I'm going to tell you, as we're out in the middle of the field, please support our sponsors, Cedars, Tuscany Square. You know, they do a lot to keep community television on the air, and I totally, totally appreciate that. Um, I see the Blackhawk girls going over and line up. I see the Newcastle girls to my left, and uh, this is the last meet of the season, and uh, the Canes, if in a specific order, can win their third title. They have two titles already. And uh, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, they've developed into a great program. Anytime you start to win three titles in a row, back to back is something, but three is uh, really something. Now, I apologize for any of the baubles that you got i'll try and steady it tonight when i publish but we are going live and um good to see you on and uh we'll be telling you giving you the heads up on um what goes on right now There's Corbin and Latrena coming past us. D'Angelo, as uh, I know some of the kids here. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing our first cross country alive. Now the sun went in and man, I gotta tell you that feels a lot better. Glad you're along here on NCTV 45. We had to make a decision whether to go on Facebook or YouTube. We uh, are, and we chose YouTube. And um, we're looking forward to the start of the race. Now, uh, Blackhawk to the left. In the center is Central Valley. And the Canes, they're to the right. And uh, the air horns up. And uh, here they go. As uh, Latrena is in the lead. You know, down around the corner, now we've been told that the way they're going to run is around the perimeter of the, the course here. Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. 
Chuck Tanner would be proud of the restaurant that bears his name. Chuck Tanner's Restaurant, owned and operated by the Papazikas family, would love for you to be part of a Newcastle tradition. Come enjoy the great breakfast, super lunch, and second-to-none dinner choices from their Italian, Mediterranean, and American cuisine. You can relax with a wonderful atmosphere and something from the bar. If you're planning an event, ask about their banquet facility. Tanner's Restaurant is located at 2305 Wilmington Road in Ushanic Township. Call 724-658-5900. The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now it's in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side, and all Cedars East, 724-658-9260. Side. I'm going to uh, take a shot right through there, and you can see right running down. They'll go behind the backstop, and uh, not to make you a little dizzy, but they're going to go into the woods right there. Okay. Now they made that first turn into the woods, shaded by a little bit of the cars on that side so now we'll watch as the rest of the troop makes it through and uh, you can hear the yelling in the woods and where they're going in at is down behind the backstop down at the bottom. Now, um, based on that camera angle, we'll switch it up here and uh, get ready for the next uh, place where they'll be coming out at. Now, as I understand it, they go in at that far end and they will be coming out close to the backstop here uh there's two backstops if you haven't been to flaherty field well actually three there's one here and then a third a second and a third all the way down now when they go in at the far backstop they will circle down inside the woods and (coughs) they will be coming up past us right here and uh, I'll get and take a look and show that's the area that they will be coming up on the backstop down at the other end so uh, as I see Coach Chaffet go down and take a look and here comes Anthony and um, as uh, guy from Blackhawk keeping pace with Anthony and uh, here comes the rest of the group 
and uh, you could see a pack of canes and one cougar. Okay, followed by three, three canes, three cougars, and uh, actually the canes and the cougars running neck and neck. At that point, they were they were even numbers. Okay, and uh, now here comes the rest of the pack. Central Valley, and then a few more canes. Coach Harlan coaching on the sidelines and uh, what a great run. Now, as I understand, and I want to keep this focused here, but uh, they're going to go around the, the field, the baseball field at the other end. And... Um, It's a combination of the top five lowest combined scores. So uh, that's how they'll determine placement and winners. And here come the rest of the Cougars uh, as the Blackhawk team making their way around. Now they'll be going in on that side of the field. And I have to believe that um, as we turn around and look, that uh, they'll be coming out. And uh, there they are as they go through that, that area. And they're continuing in the woods behind us. And uh, as you can see, Latrena and the Blackhawk student neck and neck as they run down and and as they continue down past us now uh, innovative course I love it let's take it out a little bit I love it I love it hey you two on green right now Ryan hey give me my quick set give me my quick set there goes D'Angelo past us right now. And uh, Ryan. through the woods and out. And we're gonna be taking a look as they come back through the woods on the other side. Yeah, as I'm taking a look. And uh, there'll be a break right here. And uh, taking a look and uh, the familiarity with the course
and I'm looking for the leaders as uh, they take and go down around. I believe this is the trip where they go down around the baseball field and Latrena now coming down the side of the course to our left. Latrena step for step with the Blackhawk student. Now they're going to go down and the leaders are going to go through the woods and as they make the turn back into the woods with Trenna and uh, the Blackhawk student, we don't have a roster and I apologize. And uh, I'm taking a look at as to where they're going to come out. And uh, when they come down, I believe they're going to be coming down here to our far side. So we're going to take a walk down. And uh, hopefully get at a place where the finish comes. Because I believe they come down here for the finish. Now we'll take a walk to this side. And uh, wait as it's the... Uh, final part of this and I'm looking down to see uh, exactly where they should be popping out of the woods at any particular time they go into the woods on this side and I believe they came out on the other side I'm, I'm taking a look to see that it seems as though we've got them coming in there at that side. Now, um, Go, Sam. All right, Sam. as they Go. went into that side, we're looking, to, looking at them and they're making the, the it's left. Like getting me like, and I'm looking every going, and uh, going across. Like, I can't figure out. And they'll come up behind and then come out of the woods. As I'm taking a look for Latrena and uh, haven't seen them emerge out of the woods yet as they are on the backside and I believe that'll take them around the stadium, baseball stadium. And uh, so we'll be keeping an eye on the far end. And uh, take a look. I, I did believe that they were supposed to go, or when they went around the stadium, they were supposed to go into the woods for the last time and emerge from the woods down this path right to our right. 
NCTV 45, Newcastle's community television station. We're broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. And uh, we're taking a walk and uh, nothing coming down yet. Come on, Zach! And uh, we're taking that close look. And uh, Latrena. So. Latrena yeah. on that side. Oh Heading back through. And uh, on, they go across the back. They should be coming down around the backstop right in front of us. And uh, sure enough, Come on, Jeff. Go, Jeff. Come on. the crane room is a restaurant, the crane room is a bar, the crane room is a banquet facility. The restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room, located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. Peppers, mouth-watering fruit, fine dressings, apples, meats. This place looks so familiar. Everyone in Newcastle has to know about it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up. Right in downtown Newcastle. Look at those fine lunch meats and ethnic foods. Yes, it's Joseph's. Here they come. Anthony takes first. Anthony takes first. Good from Blackhawk, second. Comes Corbin on third. So Newcastle's getting first, second, third, and I believe fourth. Okay. And here comes another cane. First, second, third, fourth. And that's D'Angelo. And that first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Six, seven, as the Canes get all but one of the top seven, they get place eight. And uh, that's totally awesome in those first eight places. Now, uh, you haven't seen uh, anybody from Blackhawk. The one student from Blackhawk got second. Newcastle took third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And 
Here we come. There's another place finished. None unofficially. And uh, with the fact that uh, you're going to take the first 10 places, it's going to be hard to see how that can be disputed. I've never seen any scoring in uh, this. Here comes a Blackhawk student now. Good job by the Cougars. Another Kane. And caught at the end. Uh, and here come, here come a bunch of Cougars right now. Now, what a great race. And uh, being here at the finish line, And uh, just taking a look at how they finished. Kane's really finishing strong. And uh, the rain just holding off. All right, good job, good job. And uh, you can see some of them. There's another Blackhawk Cougar coming by us. And uh, great job by the Canes. So uh, the Canes take unofficially i'm going to say all but one of the top 10 but definitely they had the second went to the cougars i believe that the 11th place went to the cougars okay kane's taking everything except two of the top 12 and as you see them coming past us right now We'll go and take a look at the scoring as soon as we get through and uh, we'll try to get a hold of the coach and uh, as we air. Here comes Sam past us. And uh, Canes have a really large squad. Come on, Jerry! Uh, you got it! Ryan, Jim, 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 Jim! And the girls coming down. And uh, as you saw, Miss Blundo just passed us. And uh, we'll look for the next group coming through. The race really runs a fast race. Uh, I was surprised. I thought they took a lot longer. But uh, basically, they were right. You're done in 20 minutes. And uh, that was a fantastic, fantastic type of output by the Canes who just breezed on Anthony's trailblazing speed. And uh, then Corbin coming in third and the rest of the Canes cementing that finish. And... Uh, they're coming out of the woods. They go down around the backstop and then come past us here. As we take a look at uh, their run past us. And
we have a few more folks coming down the road here the path. I'm, I'm taking a look to see. How many more we have? Okay. Rest of the contestants on their way, and uh, we take a look and. Uh, You uh, folks from Central Valley, girl from Black Hawk, as we take a look. Good job. We've got uh, probably in the neighborhood of five contestants left on the course. And uh, taking a look. Come on, Abby. Okay, Francesca, you got it. Good job. You're almost there. Good job, Zoe. Proud of you, Zoe. Just going past as you hear Coach Harlan and uh, making the turn. There's uh, three uh, students from Central Valley, two from Blackhawk, and then uh, two from one from Newcastle and one from Blackhawk on the way through. We're going to uh, kind of keep it right here. And then go to the finishing job, awards. All right, good job. Uh, as uh, taking a look, here's the two girls down. I can't. The way the course is laid out, it's difficult from. Uh, it's good from a camera angle standpoint, but a little difficult from uh, telling which way they ran standpoint because there's a lot of going into the woods. And I don't know, the folks on the other side are just cooling down. And Here's one more coming around, Zoe, making her way down. And uh, taking a look, I think that finishes the race. And we're going to go take a look and see what the final scores were as... Uh, We'll make our way down here for, to the table where they'll be announcing. Rain held off. So uh, I believe you're going to get a little wet tonight. Watch Orange County 45 weather and uh, check that out. Now, uh, <laughs> at our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Hello, friends, and it's Los Amigos. Uh, let me tell you what great food, whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, 
whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. Take a step back into time at Lombardo's Apothecary at 1230 South Mill Street. We'll take you back in time. Take you back in time to make you feel better. They have cards, snacks, all kind of toiletries and health and beauty aids that will make you feel great. They also have prescriptions too. It's Lombardo's Apothecary. Call 724-654-8100. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. We've got one more coming down. Two more. Looks like we've got two runners, three runners out on the other side. I'm not sure how many more on the track. still see one coming on the other side and I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on I'm I'm gonna take a look and here comes coach Shaftick to my left three runners from Central Valley uh, as they're coming down and uh, Coach Shaftick making his way over. Coach Shaftick. What's up, mate? Now, we're talking a little bit about the race. Mr. Latrena, do you know your time? Uh, I do not. Yeah, let me hear what this kid had a heck of a race today. Nice finish, strong kick he developed this year. Excited to watch the rest of his season. As a matter of fact, um, you know, he could probably tell you exactly what it looked like today. If you want to talk to him, it'd be great. Yes. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay, tell us about, first of all, the course a little confusing for the first time, and I didn't yeah. walk it. Yeah. So you, you come out and you head straight down. Yeah. Now, you, the, the, the student from Blackhawk was stood on your heels or at your side the yeah. whole entire race. Mm -hmm. When were you able to jump in front of him? Uh, we ran together the whole race, except for about 200 meters left up at the uh, fence over there, and that's when I took the lead and just finished. Now, you, you can't have eyes behind your head. But we, but after the student from Blackhawk was behind you, yeah. we then had a host of canes. I, it was almost like the whole city was there. Yeah. Okay, so taking those spots, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, mm -hmm. is there any kind of a doubt that um, we got the top spot? In other words, this is a repeat situation yes you guys won the last two and then this year yeah. how's it feel to win the third uh feels pretty good pretty confident in my team that we could go out there and compete with anybody now how are the playoffs structured um we have a whippeal championship and we'll race at cal U, and the top three teams will make it to states 
Okay. And we are in section... We're in District 7 with you, double uh, A. Double A, but our section number was three? Uh, District 7. We're districts. We don't have... To you, uh, okay. I thought you had a conference uh, type thing, yeah. but... That works. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations there, sir. Thank you. Great win. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to getting the rest of the information. I was trying to see if the course was cleared so that we could get the numbers. Yeah, I think we're cleared. Where will they announce it? Just over there? Yeah, at that table. Okay, we're going to take a look. Right. Thanks again. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And, uh... Now we'll take take a look and uh, go to the table for what appears to be the call. Young lady just crossing right. for, and I guess that's the table that will give you the scores. Remember, Friday we'll be bringing you the Newcastle Blackhawk football game. And uh, as we wait, Coach Harlan getting the final scores. And a little different setup, man. It looks like everything's tabulated, and there are a lot of wires there. And, uh... as we continue to wait for the tabulation. And at this point, try to find out what the final score was. Something still takes some time. And uh, they're recording all the scores there uh, as we wait to see. And, Candid camera. Mm -hmm. You're putting this on YouTube. Vukovic, Central Valley. Uh, what's the other one I got to hunt down? Uh, 59. Is that a girl or a bo girl? boy? No, it says girl. 59, you said. Yeah. Why does it say Montour? What? Wait a second, Bobby. You told me a name, but you handed me a card with a different so name. So we're going to. Uh, 
Vukovic. Over there, the Kings huddling, relishing the thought of their title. And, uh, you know, as we're waiting for the big guy on his way to practice. You have to give him five burgers to them. So we still got one more out there, I believe. Yeah. There's one more out, as we just heard. Officer Holmes with us. You're live. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And we'll switch this around. I need that little button there. How do you like that? Okay. <laughs> the beauty of... Air, yeah. Uh, two out of 12 places. In the beginning. That's crazy. Yeah. So... Uh, I, I'm waiting for the final score, but it's almost a foregone conclusion the way they uh, score it. So, uh, as I was told, this is our first cross-country meet, and we survived, and we didn't get the rain. <laughs> so, uh, let's go see if they, there's a final, excuse me, final score yet. And Is there a Blackhawk coach anywhere? Blackhawk coach? And uh, we wait for the final total. You need to know who's from what school. Uh, Bobby didn't write it. This might be able to tell you if it's there. So one of our uh, players. Uh, uh, and uh, we have another runner coming down. And uh, as we wait for the final score, still waiting. And uh, we'll be we'll be finishing up shortly. So, uh, let me ask Coach Chap, uh, think if we have a final Coach, do, Coach, do we have a final score yet? Um, you know what, right there, Coach Harlan will be able to help you out with that final score. I'm not exactly sure. Yes. But Coach Harlan is sitting down calculating it right now as we speak. <laughs> uh, getting the advocates out. <laughs> You're making me, like, not be able to ask. Hey, Rich, I do appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Is he okay? Just for the record. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shut up. I can't think when you do this. As Miss Harlan taking all the rap. You're on TV doing it. Hey, no and pressure here. Under the Just everybody watching. Right. And uh, <laughs> we're going to take it and end it right here. And uh, thanks for tuning in to NCP. Yeah, right. I got the ball, man. I, I don't see any way. We won. The boys uh, beat New, uh, beat Blackhawk. The score was 19-43. Boys, Newcastle. And the boys beat Central Valley 15-50.
Um, so the boys are the section champs. Hey, congratulations. Undefeated. So the boys undefeated. This is NCTV 45. And um, thanks anytime on your time. Hello, friends. Pinella Brothers, 1701 Hamilton Street, provided funding for this program. Great food and drink, Pinella Brothers. If you want to score big, then get over to Shenango Auto Mall. George Fiaco, General Sales Manager, and his experienced staff will be glad to talk to you about all the amazing used car deals from their huge inventory. Lifetime powertrain warranties, extended warranties, and guaranteed credit approval. They have a body shop and full detail shop. It's not your normal used car lot. They also buy cars, trucks, and SUVs. Shenango Auto Mall is located at 2515 Elwood Road in Shenango Township. Call 724-698-7300. Zero four. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program. Located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. There you go, D'Angelo. Cross country. Three P. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Great job. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence, NCTV 45.